Well, here we are. This is the first trap of the day. We had a nice raccoon trail coming through here into this barn and got my first animal of the 2019-2020 season here. Got a possum. Um, I'm assuming I'm gonna catch a couple more, but this is just a nice prime location. We got uh, abandoned barn, got a whole bunch of machinery and stuff inside there, and then we have a whole bunch of hollow trees right there that they're, they're getting in, so. I'm gonna go ahead and dispatch this animal, reset it, and continue down the line. So we're coming up here to the next trap. This is another location that I've trapped before. Um, just right here on the edge of a, a bank. Break this off for my cameraman here. Come on through. So, nice location. We got um, a creek that comes through here. Got a cornfield on this side, cornfield behind the camera. So I went ahead and doubled up. I put a trap here, and then I put a trap right here, and uh, got a pretty big raccoon. So gonna go ahead and uh, dispatch this coon and continue down the line. I'm gonna go ahead and actually pull this one out because it looks like it was about to come out anyway because that raccoon is using its weight to pull the trap down. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pound this back into the ground, move it up here a little bit more so he can get that leverage and uh, start yanking this out of the ground. So we'll put this up here and then uh, remake it. So I'm gonna go and rebate this up. And I got some dog food, some ham and beans, some cornbread, basically everything left over from Christmas is in here, so good quality last meal. Alright, that's it. So blood really doesn't affect anything, but I always like to just cover it up and get it out of the trap circle here so this is all disturbed. Next raccoon walking on the bank, even over on that side, should uh, want to come over here and check it out. Continue down the line. Today's January 3rd, back out here on the line and coming up to a spot where I caught a raccoon yesterday. Good location, got that trail running on the side of the creek. A whole bunch of falling down logs here for a denning area. Bean field slash cornfield behind us. Another one over there. And uh, out here solo today. So I'm gonna be running the camera, but this is the spot where I caught the raccoon that I last showed. And today, another dog proof trap. Got a possum here. So gonna dispatch this quick. We're kind of running out of daylight today. Gonna dispatch it, remake it, and then uh, Check a new location. I put a couple more traps out today, so hopefully we can catch some more. Well, coming up to the new location that I set yesterday. And this has been a very good spot over the years. This is probably my most most trapped uh, location that I have in this area. Got myself a raccoon right there. And then I had, uh, of course, another trap right there, because if it's good for one, it's good for two. Basically what we have here is just a drainage culvert. Goes underneath the road. Um, I actually put a log on the other side so the raccoons can come up into this culvert and get to the side of the road without having to cross it. And then uh, on top of here, there's a cornfield. So just prime location. Was hoping for a double, but I'll take uh, the single here. So dispatch him. I'm pretty sure that's gonna conclude the line. I have one more muskrat trap, but I'm not gonna hold my breath on that. Gonna check it, uh, put out a couple more traps, and hopefully by the end of the week, uh, I'll have a nice amount of traps out here. Finally back out here on the line today. I had a couple days in between trap checks. I had to pull all of them because of work. But uh, back out here on the line, this is the first trap that I've checked so far. Got a raccoon. It rained all last night. I actually wasn't expecting much uh, for the trap check today, but Got a raccoon and the dog proof trap. Just good location here. Got a culvert right there where all those rocks are at right there. Goes underneath the road. And then uh, a log that crosses over 
his prime location to set a trap. So got this guy here and then uh, keep you on here because I'm pretty sure I saw another pretty pretty big uh, coon over here. But we'll see, see what we got. All right, here we are. This is the second trap here. Another pretty big raccoon. Um, just sit again, crossing log, and uh, baited it up with uh, fish, and then dog proof or uh, dog food on top. So another nice coon in the dog proof trap. I'm going to uh, reset this location, and uh, hopefully we got a couple more, a couple more animals.